Hey guys, welcome to Rolling Homestead, and today we're going to talk about the Red Ranger Mead Bird, so stick around. Alright guys, thanks for joining me. So today we're going to talk about the Red Rangers and why I chose Red Rangers over uh, Cornish X and some of the things that I made to uh, help my little area out here for the meat birds. So first off, it's not exactly a tricky, uh, chicken tractor, but it is a, a movable house. So if it gets too full in there, I can move it around. And there they are. <laughs> Aren't they funny? So anyways, we got their big water. And that's how I set that up in there. So that they can have a little area to go into out of the rain and out of the wind. And then that's kind of what the other tarp is back here for, is to get them out of the wind. But, um... The reason why I took the Red Rangers over the Cornish X's is right there, they're active. They move around. They like to scavenge. They like to um, scratch. So that's why we chose these guys. They're not as, they don't weigh as much and these are all going to be, uh, these are all males. They are really skittish. So they all go hide in the corner over there. But they're kind of cool. They're a lot cleaner. They're a lot cleaner bird. Um, they don't like laying in their poop. They don't like that kind of stuff. Uh, where the corner is actually just gonna lay in the food pile like over here they just lay there and just mow down but you're gonna have these are gonna be um, about 12 to 14 weeks before I ship them depending on how they grow but all, all in all they're a lot they're healthy they're active um, I see I got one skinny one in a bunch, but otherwise they're pretty much uh, same size. Looking good. They're not like my uh, other girls are at all. You know, these, these guys are a little bit more skittish than my other ones, but... Pretty cool. On June 9th, we'll be getting another 22 of them, and then uh, July 9th, these guys will be going to butcher. <laughs> They're scared of their own shadow. But the reason why I chose the reason why I chose over here, obviously, is because they're protected with the trees and stuff. Um, we do have eagles, and that would make a real. Uh, I don't want to come out here and find a big pile of feathers. So we got it all fenced in so they can run around. Obviously, the they mostly stay back there. There they come. 
Come on, guys. Come on, guys. What you guys doing? Come on, slowpoke. Pretty neat raising a different style of bird. Uh, two years now we've been doing the just the hands, so it's kind of neat to do something different. But they have this whole, you know, this nice little area to run around in, so they're not caged up and they're actually can come out here and scratch and do their own little thing. And that helps too to keep them healthier. They can dig worms up and everything else. But it's really neat how active they actually are compared to a uh, um, corner shacks. I was thinking it was going to be a lot more work, but considered how healthy they are, it really isn't that bad. This fence, though, on the other hand, that's hard. I got Sleeping Beauty over here. Oh, no, she got up. <laughs> that used to be our old uh, compost bins before it got a lot bigger. But see, you know, they come and they go. Here they are. Just sitting in their feeder. But they kind of do their own little thing. There's some down there. And then some up here. Which is really odd because usually they, they run together. That's kind of funny. As one goes, they all go. So there's a quick look, guys, of the Cornish X. There, I'm sorry. Cornish. Red Rangers. And uh, the kind of setup that I did. So if you guys are interested in getting Red Rangers for yourself, it doesn't take a whole lot. All it was was two by four, a couple cattle panels, and a tarp and they're ready to go so hope this guys helps hopes this helps guys or answers any of those questions if you got any comments leave them down below please hit the like button give me a thumbs up and please share and you guys all take care god bless and we will see you on the next one